Does that make a sound? Yes. I think it's time for me to talk about boric acid because I heard everybody is not selling boric acid and you get questions like this on the comment section. Nos Miss Mary, is boric acid good for your vagina? Nos Miss Mary, what do I need to know about boric acid? Come on, I'm going to tell you the truth fact and nothing but the truth today in this video so good day, everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Miss mary popularly known as the nurse with a difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be sharing with you five facts as a lady you need to know about boric acid five facts you need to know about boric acid is boric acid actually healthy to the vagina is boric acid doing more harm than good i'm going to be telling you all this so just calm down i am your favorite nurse but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel and these are content you are interested in please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers, this is not Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. Like earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you five facts about boric acid so you know as a lady. But wait, before I go into the five facts, what is this boric acid? From the name, you can see boric acid. It is an acid. And you know when we were in secondary school during our chemistry class, even our chemistry lab, now we were exposed to acid, and we are told that acid is corrosive and base is is not. You understand? Acid is harsh and base is not. So acid generally is corrosive, but this boric acid is a mild acid. It's, it's, it's a weak acid. It's not strong. It's not that corrosive as um the other strong acid. You know when we talk about acid, we have the weak acid. We have the strong acid things like that but this boric acid is a weak acid as the fact that boric acid is used in the vagina it's it's also used other types of boric acid are used as insecticides to kill insects they are used as rat poisons for rabbit rats and they're also used to remove mold so you have an idea about boric acid that's the other benefits so now let's go into the five facts about boric acid proper in regards to the vagina so the first one i want to share with you is that boric acid is a safe and effective method or way to treat vaginal yeast infection yes it is safe and effective to treat vaginal yeast infection well wait before you pause the video end the video and rush to go and buy boric acid i want you to watch to the end and have a better understanding yes it is safe and it is effective method to treat um vaginal yeast infection so then that takes me to the second point which i have to share with you and that is it is not expensive and it is generally well tolerated it is not expensive so boric acid when compared to um the other types of um yeast infection medication it is not expensive i've seen the prices of boric acid and i've compared it to other prices of some anti-yeast infections and all that it's quite different it's for me it's expensive when compared to it and it is um well tolerated because most i've watched videos about content creators about doctors making videos on boric acid i've gone through the comment sections and i've seen a lot of feedback people saying it's well tolerated and it's good and it's that it's that okay so just know it is safe it is well tolerated and it is less expensive which is a good one when compared to other medications used to treat yeast infection so then that takes me to the third point which is very very important the third point is that boric acid is not the first line of treatment for yeast infection boric acid is not the first line of treatment for yeast infection so if you're having infection and the first thing is that oh you see this person selling boric acid on your dp you run oh give me boric acid no spencer mary said it is safe is effective so you get it and take it so boric acid is specifically better when you are having recurrent bacterial vaginosis you are having recurrent yeast infection you've treated it but it keeps coming that is when they recommend boric acid boric acid you have to see boric acid as the bulldozer it goes there and like boom it's so 
it just uh, like cleans up everything so boric acid is not the first line of action it's not the first line of treatment but doctors usually recommend it when you're having frequent and recurrent yeast infection that is not going and also if you're having um yeast that is resistant to some to this yeast um to this anti yeast medications they give you they prescribe this yeast but the one you're having is resistant the non abicans you are, your body is resistant like the non abicans is resistant to your normal yeast medication that is when they think about boric acid i don't know if i'm making sense so if you're having recurrent bv you're having bv suppression bacterial vaginosis suppression and they have to place you on this therapy that is when they advise it so it is not a first line of treatment for bacterial vaginosis. Then the fourth point I have to share with you is that boric acid should not be used orally. Yes, it's an acid. It's very corrosive, I would say. There is not a strong acid. It should not be used orally. It should not be used on open wound, but rather it should be used as suppositories. It should be used as suppositories. So take note of that and don't try to use boric acid orally. Then the last point I have to share with you, the fifth fact is contraindications. Those who are not expected to use boric acid at all. Yes. So you're not expected to use boric acid. I listed them here. The first one is sexually transmitted infection. So if you have inching and Quick, quick. You didn't even know if it's bacterial vaginosis. So you quickly go and buy boric acid and place down there. Please and please don't try it because you are not supposed to use boric acid if you are having STIs, you are treating an ongoing STI. It is not advisable you use boric acid. Boric acid does not cause sexually transmitted infection. Then the second one is if you are having vaginal bleeding. If you are bleeding, it is not advisable you use boric acid. Remember I said it is not advisable you use it on an open wound. Then the third one is open wounds. That same thing, open wounds. Then the fourth one is pregnant women. So if you are a woman and you are having recurrent bacterial vaginosis, it's advisable you speak with your doctor and don't take boric acid then another point is heart disease you're having blood vessels disease it is not advisable you take boric acid so for those that have been asking me about boric acid i hope i have been able to answer your questions please if you have any questions drop in the comment section i'll be able to take questions on this particular video the first two days in which it's published because it's easier for me when the comments get million guess thousands it's difficult so you don't blame me if i don't answer all the questions on all the old videos so drop your questions in the comment section i'll be taking it as soon as possible all right for those that are watching it first thing so these are the facts i have to share about boric acid it's inexpensive it's safe it's effective but it's not a first line of treatment for yeast infection yes so if you're having anything you're having any concern please don't say oh boric acid is the first line or boric acid is, mm -mm. speak to your doctor so your doctors have the final say i'm just sharing the general knowledge and also from personal experience so your doctors have the final say they are able to carry out useful tests make useful diagnoses and tell you what is advisable for you to take at a particular moment like i always say in most of my video is advisable you see a doctor and the doctor tells you oh messy nothing is wrong now for you to assume nothing is wrong or deep down something is wrong somewhere so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not very saying thank you bye and see you in our next video stay tuned